just when I think I can't read any more worse stuff in the news, now an ex-Roblox developer has been convicted and has been sentenced to prison. Before we get into the video, only a small percent is subscribed. If you really like this video, hit the subscribe button. It really means a lot. Yeah, I thought this was a joke too when I first when I first heard it. I was like, really? Because you, you always hear about these Roblox guys, Roblox YouTubers, Roblox developers, stuff like that. And there's only been like maybe a couple that I know of that have like had criminal things happen to them. And that's Fave and like Ruben Sim with his controversy and getting sued by Roblox and stuff. But as far as like criminal behavior, the only person that I know of that's been charged with anything was Fave. And there's somebody else too. I can't remember his name, but whatever. That's not the point. But I found this and the news on this basically says, man, Lou girl from Indiana to New Jersey pleads guilty. A man pled guilty Tuesday to two counts after being arrested for transportation of a minor into cage in criminal sexual activity, as well as corrosion and enticement of a minor in attempt, according to the United States Attorney's Office. And then it goes on to say, Arnold Castillo of Patterson, New Jersey, used social media to communicate with a minor in central Indiana, or oh, from central Indiana, with the goal of luring her to New Jersey for illicit sexual purposes. The 22-year-old paid and arranged for an uber driver to pick the girl up and transfer across state lines dude that's a pretty expensive i mean I'm, uh, that's a pretty expensive freaking uber dude i'm just saying for the love of god uber from where is it again indiana all the way to new jersey holy schnickles i'm talking thousands of dollars man so castillo will spend a man a mandatory minimum sentence of 10 years in prison so he's been sentenced to 10 years that's a minimum both counts are also punishable by a maximum sentence sentence of life imprisonment and a $250,000 fine and a lifetime of supervised release following any term of imprisonment. The minor at the time of the offense was 15 years old. So how I knew this was a Roblox, because if you read the story on this Fox 59, whatever I found this on, you just think it's some douchebag who was on social media, right? Which it is a douchebag. But the point is, is that Arnold Costillo, I don't know anything about this dude, right? And then you go on to the Twitter and you find all sorts of information, like he's an ex Roblox developer named Arnold Castillo, AKA Dr. Rofatniks. Rofatnik? So let's look him up. Yeah, here he is, Dr. Rofatnik. Oh, wow. They turned, like, they completely got rid of his wiki on the Roblox wiki. Holy schnickle boobs. You could Google search it and you could see Arnold Castillo, better known on the internet as Dr. Rofatniks. Or Fatnik. God damn it, why do I keep saying that K looks like an X in my brain for some reason? I'm losing my mind. Let's just let you know this. So he's known for the Sonic Eclipse online game. Sonic the Hedgehog knockoff called Sonic Eclipse online. Okay. So he made up some Roblox games, whatever. But he was known as Dr. Rofatnik. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. And now he's going to prison for being a pervert you know what i'm saying anyways holy crap i mean i know that fave got in trouble and there's other ones too i'm just having drying a blank for some reason i have like a major brain fart going where i can't think of who else has been you know in prison basically off of oh what was that one dude who was a um he was a furry juker that's right i forgot all about the jukester bro okay so fave and juke are the two that i know of that i did reports on new stuff on that actually have been arrested and, and uh, convicted and got prison sentences maybe there's others i don't know about but anyways the point i'm trying to make is that this dr rofatnik dude is no longer going to be uh free anymore he's not a be a free man he did some naughty things and he shouldn't have done what he did and now he's going to prison for it so there you go that's the news and that's all i want to talk about